Morning, guys. It's uh, Sunday, May the second, and I'm excited to give you um, some more update on the house construction process. So today I'm going to uh, show my builder the exact spot where uh, the land is located, and he wants to just take a look at the topography, the soil. And all that so that we can start planning um, on materials and where to put everything else and I'm just excited to take you on that journey so come along as we go to view the land <music> where you turn the vehicles to see your camera out. lighted from the matatu and one thing i like about this place is um you just get off the matatu and you are at the plot so that's really a big plus uh, for me it took us about 30 minutes to get here from uh, nairobi cbd railway station and i'm just excited to show you guys the property that i am going to develop so, obviously I'm not going to show you the outside of the gate because of some sick people on the internet but my house is like at the very end so let's take a look so guys when you buy property in kenya it's standard practice to keep checking it over time even if you don't have any development on it because we have a lot of cases of land grabbers we have people who just come and sell your property so i have been coming here quite often since i bought the property in 2012 i make sure to come at least once every quarter just to make sure that my property still exists and no one has built on it and um, it's also my recommendation for you when you buy your property even if you are not yet ready to start developing it just make sure to 
keep checking it otherwise you're gonna come one day and just find these quarters on your land the last time i was here was about i think a month and a half ago or two months ago i came here with the architect because i wanted him even as he designed my house he has a good lay of the ground and he knows exactly where to put what where the sun rises from where it sets is sets out and all that kind of stuff which is also very important when you're designing your house so today um, I decided because we have finished the architectural plans it was important to also have the builder come here so that he can also advise us in case of anything he was interested in checking like the type of soil if you're gonna need to excavate and all that kind of stuff so that's why we are here today obviously there's been a lot of um, uh, development since I was last year like most of these houses you see here weren't here and I'm excited because um, it looks like we're gonna have neighbors yeah so initially my greatest worry was coming here and then you're all alone but just having all the neighbors and seeing all this development I think is a good plus um, security wise and everything else so I'm really excited for that so my plot is the last one on this property and I am just excited to show you guys um, just before I have um, time with the builder so come on and let's go and see the property <music> What? <laughs> what happened? Oh my god! What? I have a wall! There's a wall! Look. What? Oh my god! There's, There's no way. No way! No way! No guys, way. you guys! I have a wall on my property and I didn't have it! Oh my god! Look how you guys see it! There's no oh way! I have a wall. <laughs> Wait, so. Oh my god, oh my god. Like, guys, I have a wall. Wait, so you didn't build this wall? Oh my god. You guys, my neighbor put up a wall on his property. And now I have a wall that I didn't pay for. Oh my god. Because. So this is my property, this one that looks so... <laughs> oh my god, oh these guys. Aki, I don't even know where to start. Like, the last time I was here, there was nothing. Guys, what are we going to see? Guys, I have a wall. <laughs> I have a wall. I have a wall, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, and they fell my fans. Wait, so you're saying that the first this is the first time you're seeing this wall? Yes. So before you came here, no, the last he wasn't time, there. No, the last time I came here, all I had was my fence, which as you can see right now, has been fallen. I don't understand why they fell my fence. Mm -hmm. And um, then I had a fence here, but now I kind of have a wall. I mean, a fence for a wall. Oh my God pretty good trade guys so this is my neighbor's property and they show my fence but now i have a wall yeah i mean a fence for a wall is a oh guys god pretty what good trade like, i don't know what i need to do so i'm kind of sad that they've fallen my fence and um looks like looks like they are gonna put another wall here because they've already started on this side as you can see so i am just crossing my fingers that have fallen this fence that they put for me a wall here as well 
But God, I'm so happy. At least I have a walk on this side. So they probably need to put for me the other side. Hey guys, I'm so overwhelmed. Like I don't even know what to do. Like I wish I'm not the crier type, but what is going on in my heart right now? I don't even know what to say. So this is the property. I'm just gonna show you quickly. So it starts from somewhere here. It's an eight and then it goes all the way up to here. It goes all the way up to here where you see the trees. Up to where the trees are. So at least they haven't taken out this part of the fence, but at least I still have a wall, so that's nice. So all the way like this, where you see the trees, this is the property. It's very small. Ouch, a fawn. It's a small property. It goes all the way. Um, this way. And I had planted some trees there as well. So it just goes all the way up to here. So basically this is where I'm going to build a house. So I'm going to build like from somewhere here where I'm standing about three or four meters from the fence coming this way and then the house is going to be up to that end and that's the entrance where we got in from yeah so this is guys this is basically how the property looks like it's an eighth of a property an eighth of an acre so yeah that's basically it. so I saw somebody here let me talk to him and find out about this wall if there are any chances of it being fixed or if he knows about the fence that fell off so I'm going to talk to him and then I'll be right back. 